On a day where the seeds have been falling, our next competitor hopes to add to that list. I'm told he likes wearing a mankini, so fingers crossed <laughs> that he's dressed appropriately today. Will you welcome, please, Kyle Brown? Well, well, it's the big show. Yes, it's a big, bad show tonight. Oh. Well, when, like me, you're 5'8", five, 5'9", five, on your tiptoes, there are certain people you don't want to be hanging around standing next to. He's one of them. He's a big fella. He's... Uh, I know I'll be backing in, uh, in a scrap in the car park. <laughs> don't know, he looks quite a placid guy. I don't want to find out. No, I think you're right there. He's wearing he... socks. So, well, he is, but no shoes. He's... Maybe that's he can get under the door frame. Well, on a day where hardly any of the players have been wearing socks, finally we've got a man wearing socks and he's not got any shoes on. And he's wearing orange socks. What on earth is going on? <laughs> I think someone's winding us up now. I feel like I've been tangoed. <laughs> what is that? What is that? So I need to. They look like they could be tights rather than socks. I'm sure my grandma had a pair of them. I, I don't know an awful lot about mankinis. Is it, it, does the mankini stretch to the feet? Well, I thought it was very little, no, wasn't it? I, I, think, I think the fabric is limited on, on that, that choice of garment. I think we need to be careful because yeah. he's going to see us after this. Shall we, uh, we concentrate back? on the matter in hand? Yeah, let's get on with it. Jordan Shepherd. well, we've lost the duster Liam Dunster. These are the only two guys who have been lifting this trophy, the shootout trophy. Yeah, that there would have been nobody happier than Jordan Shepherd to see Liam Dunster um, losing that first round match because he will feel like this event is his to lose. Um, it, it suits Jordan Shepherd down to the ground. Um, his natural style of play is so fluent. Um, he is he's so attacking, he's so aggressive, he's but very, very clever with it. He doesn't just go for his shots. He knows exactly where everything's going. Absolutely. As as Make no down. mistake. He is actually one of the best players in the world. Um, you know, he's uh, he plays in the Premier League on free sports as well. He, he is. He'll be a regular to your TV screens. Um, but this shot clock just plays into his hands because it's just his natural game. Yeah. He. He can. It's a perfect format for him. It's it's a dream, and we've seen that in the results. Yeah, and I'll need to cue this well because he, he needs to get past the middle pocket. He doesn't want to go too far up the table. This is a tester, first frame. To perfection. He's played that really well. Oh, We'd like to have been a bit further up the table. Just spinning it up the rail. Yeah, You're right, it's not a gimme. No, far from it. I thought it was going to keep going, but it's a tester. Great shot. Just had to have a second look at the cue wall, but nowhere near. And the referee, Donna Revan, says that'll do. And in the blink of an eye, the Welsh wizard waves his wand, looks to the camera, says, yep, yeah, I'll have a few more like that, if you don't mind. 
Carl just stares on, sort of yet to get his first proper visit to the table. Yeah, this, I mean, you can't beat yourself up when you're losing frames like that, really, can you? No, textbook finish from Jordan Shepard. Doing, doing what he does best, and a, and a big break, but the white's in off. So we're going to see Carl Brown with his first opportunity to get his uh, hand on the table. Yep, big chance for the big fella. He towers over that, doesn't he? It's almost like you need to raise the table for him. Do you think he doesn't wear shoes so, so, so he doesn't have so to lean over? To the table. Yeah. How tall is he? Do we know? Seven foot. Well, he's a, he's a big guy. Loved his music. The big show <laughs> was brilliant. Very good player, though. Um, could have been some Mr. Of his big stuff as well. <laughs> Maybe that'll be after he wins the frame. Yeah, but um, good player, Kyle. Um, seen his results the last uh, year or so. Um, he, he's kind of started entering more tournaments and more more bigger events and um, he is uh, he'll be no pushover for, for Jordan Shepard he is a good player very confident character I suppose you, you can afford to be can't you and you it was nicely weighted got such a long reach as well I, I was just thinking that I, w I wonder how long his queue is such a regular it's kind of 57 58 inches mustn't, they, they, they say that your your queue should um, reach your shoulder the tip of your queue should reach your shoulder is the if you were to sort of get somebody to build a queue from you that's the case he's, he's got a huge queue he's gonna yeah I mean <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have a 70 inch queue I don't think it does does it does it I don't think it does no I didn't expect it to, well it's not far off yeah, up, upper arm it's an important shot here he needs to queue this really well he needs to get back over to the right of where he is now to stay away from that middle pocket. He oh. just caught the knuckle. And uh, that straightened it up. Yeah, this is very tough now. This is very tough. The angle he's got is horrible. He's looking at just uh, topping this through and leaving himself a, a, a long, tough black. for the screw and he's missed it yeah he's missed it he was it was was always going to be tough that but but this isn't going to be an easy finish for Jordan he's got a uh, ball on the bottom cushion he needs to negotiate and also a yellow on the left hand side cushion yeah we need a good angle that's the perfect angle now to go up towards as close to that left middle pocket as possible to get on his problem ball if we can get that out of the way this should be frame over. Oh, I think he's played to he's played to nudge it out, and to rest on it. It's just a little bit too worried. I think the natural, if he'd have just played it as a natural follow through, you would have seen it going too too close to that middle pocket. So he's he's elected to play it slightly differently. He's left the edge here, but I don't think he'll be too concerned about that. No, he can't cut it in the middle. And it doesn't go, you can't see enough of it, and it doesn't go to that bottom left hand corner either. So, Carl's in a lot of trouble here. And so much so that he's going cushion first, even though he can see the red. Oh, it's a great effort, Kyle really Brown. Really good effort. A great effort. Unlucky. Yeah. See a tap of the table. Yeah, there respected Jordan by score. Jordan. So I want to stop him going 2-0 down though. I'm 
You'll see John's just having to reroute here. He wanted to be on the yellow top left next. Where's that black gun? It's gone on the back cushion. It should have been fairly simple yeah. for John. He's making hard work of this. Unexpected obstacle arises. A glimmer of hope, perhaps, for the shoeless wonder. Yeah, and this is this is by no stretch of formality for, for Jordan. He needs to cue this well. Naturally, the white's going to be going back down table, probably towards the corner pocket. To be honest, unless he plays this with side and. If you're playing it with side, yeah, it's, it's, that's as well as he could have played that shot. A little bit of insurance as well. If he does miss it, he's not going to be leaving anything easy for Kyle, but expect him to get this. Nicely done. He does get it. Knows he's got a real mountain to climb now. It's a big break and he's made a ball. Last ball rolling, pretty much. He's made a yellow. Has got the option to play red onto yellow as his first shot to secure yellows for himself. But, um, only really one problem area for Reds and he can attack it straight away. Playing this red into the right middle pocket. Yeah, now he's got the perfect angle. Take the easy red into the right hand corner, right right middle pocket and disturb the the red and yellow directly below it. He's played it. He's played quite a controlled cannon, but he's he's only just flicked it. Needed needed a thicker contact on that to give it a chance of of coming out nice, and it hasn't hasn't worked out very well for him. And he's he's, he's snooking on all his other balls as well, so in a lot of trouble here, Kyle Brown. And Jordan Shepherd looks so relaxed. There's a real look of uh, resignation already in the big fella's face. I don't even think he was playing the double kiss there. No, it's come out as well as it as he could have expected, I suppose. Jordan playing the way that he plays is, is going to attack these. And he's going to leave himself an angle off of one of these yellows to, to, to go into the, 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 the two yellows and red on the right-hand side of the table. He's going to go into it now, the one in the middle, I think. No. No, choosing against it. Well, interesting choice of shots. It, <laughs> he's messed it up. He hasn't played it very well. And I just I just think it's not his natural game. Jordan Shepard's natural game is to attack. You're 2-0 up as well. I know he's trying to do the sensible thing. But he's box office, Jordan Shepard. And the sensible thing for him isn't really what we're used to. We're used to seeing crash, bang, wallop and putting them off the lampshades. in no oh, I thought that was in well he's happier it's not in because uh, I think now that's um, advantage Kyle Brown in this frame not going for the cut double is he no so I just think he's handed the initiative to, to Kyle here he, he had a chance to attack when they had five six yellows in the open he chose not to. He's tried to play a safety that's gone wrong, and and now 
I'd rather be reds than yellows. I think Kyle was trying to leave an angle there and he's not quite got it. You can see from the look on his face. Yeah, just got one red to uh, to think about. The one with the yellow on the right cushion. No problems anywhere else. Oh. It's very nicely done. He's played that well. But the problem is here, he, he's going to trust the luck going into the red. And he's... He's not really guaranteed. He's, well, he's certainly not guaranteed to be on anything after this. He's, I like the way he's played that. He's played it at pace. Whether it's come out good or not, I don't. I don't think it has. No, he's been unlucky. But he had to play that at pace because if he just rested into it, he was almost certainly not going to be on anything. So he needed to play a little bit more of a risky. Another inch. And he had the reds, top corner. The last thing. Carl Brown needs is an extra inch. <laughs> does this go into the middle pocket? If well, it does. It, uh, it's, a, it's a really tricky shot so if, he's, if he's taking that on. No, that goes. That definitely goes. That's oh, a fantastic what a shot. shot. Playing that angle blind. Wow. So it needs another big shot, though. It's a brilliant shot from Carl Brown. Yeah, just needs to get the white back past where it is now don't take your eye off the pot needs to stay away from that corner pocket nicely done lovely suddenly he's come alive what music are we going to have oh what a clearance that is and the big fellas on the board excellent stuff and a wink to the camera from Kyle Brown what a shot <laughs> On another day, that could be shot of the day. But he won't mind. 2-1. The song's giant, I think, isn't it? <laughs> Thing is, as well, at 2-0 down. 15-second shot clock. At 2-0 down, that was, that was effectively match ball. If you lose that and go 3-0 down against Jordan Shepard in this format, you're as good as done. So it showed some real good bottle there from Carl Brown to make the big shot under pressure from the big show. Shepard straight back in. Two off the break. Immediately at the table. Uh, this frame could have 30 seconds left. That's the way to, to respond to your opponent getting their first frame of the board. Just get one straight back yourself in lightning fast time. Yeah, he's, he's going to have to cue this well. No, he hasn't. Oh. He hasn't, has he? Has I he? was just about to say, well, he cues everything well, doesn't he? Well, are well, there are a couple of cracks in the Welsh Wizard. Is there, is there more pressure on him because Liam Dunster's out? Everybody's talking about it. Everybody was talking about a potential Dunster Shepherd final again. And um, see, Carl looks a little bit rushed here. And he I said before, from funny enough, talking about Liam Dunster, it, you've got a little bit more time than you think you've got. And that bleeper starts going, counting down from 10 seconds. See, Jordan Shepard there doesn't look rushed at all. But this is where it can get very, very scrappy. Very nicely cued. Has he got an angle now to to play this with right hand side just above the middle pocket and go towards his problem area? He, he did have, he's trusted to luck obviously, you do need a bit of luck and he hasn't really got any there. No, well he's cleared a path to the red but not, <laughs> not for the red to go anywhere else. No. So got up his sleeve here. Containing safety. Oh, he was trying to squeeze that red behind the the yellow towards his bottom left-hand corner. He's looking to bring the, the white back. 
Yeah. He's left a, a tester for, Sh for, for, for Jordan Shepard. Sheppy, as we know him. Cued beautifully. Yeah, he doesn't often cue too badly in a row, does he? No. If ever. So looking like 3-1 now. Yeah, would have liked the cue to come back a little bit further so he could just stun up for the black into the same pocket, but... You're playing into the slightly tighter middle pocket now. So, uh, fairly simple for Jordan Shepard for a 3 1 lead. No The big man's gone in off. That could be curtains. Yeah, one yellow, one red, one white. Yeah, he's going to attack this bottom right-hand corner of the table now. And if this comes out nice, this could be 4-1 in no time at all. And that has come out as well as it possibly could have done for Jordan Shepard. The Welsh Wizard, three-time winner of this event. You wouldn't yeah. back against him to win it again. No, it looks really hungry here. This is going to be 4-1 in uh, 30 seconds. Yeah, no time at all left in this frame. He's in practice mode here. He's in exhibition mode. He's got somewhere to be. <laughs> well, he will have somewhere to be. It's seven o'clock this evening, quarter-finals. The way it's going. He's looking that way indeed. 4-1, Jordan Shepard. Straight away, I'm sure. Yeah, it's been a good performance this from Jordan Shepard. I think um, this is some really good performances first round from uh, a couple of the qualifiers, the qualifiers and, and um, non-seeds. First up, Phil Craig, playing really, really well um, to win his match. The young Kian Monaghan has been as impressive as anybody so far in Buccaneers place in the quarterfinals later on this evening. What an atmosphere that's going to be when he plays again. As Jordan Shepard has just given Kyle Brown a glimmer of hope. Uh, Kyle Brown is is in here. And uh, I think Jordan Shepard's just taken his eye off the ball a little bit. He, 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 they weren't as easy as they looked to start with and he's messed them up and oh well, well Carl's messed that up say no more and that could be that one good positional shot from Jordan Shepard to get on this red into the bottom left hand corner pocket and this is game over bit of a tester for Sheppy but his single ball potting such a good front runner as well Jordan I know that all too well myself I think Carl can probably put his shoes back on <laughs> well that's gone too far where is it going he didn't play it like that <laughs> no, I don't think Get so a strut on him well, I think I know where it's going and it's a 5-1 victory for the favourite Jordan Shepard
He enjoyed that. The big fella, not so much. And he's safely through. Thumping win for the guy now who will be the favourite to go on and win this again. Jordan Shepard through to a quarter-final tonight with Martin McIntosh. And we have two places still up for grabs in those quarter-final. And we'll find them out next.